Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. I've got a fresh install of WordPress right here. It's just the latest one, which is 2021. I'm going to go over to Elegant Themes. I'm signed into my account, so I want to download the Divi theme. As you can see, it's downloading it to my desktop here. I'm using Google Chrome. Yours may download to a different location, whatever your default location is. OK, well, let's go back here. Go to Themes. We're in Themes already. I'm going to add new. And you can upload a theme. Hit the little button, Upload Theme up here. Now you can browse to your download by hitting the Choose File button if you want to. Or you can simply drag it up if you've got it on screen like I have and drop it in there. Hit the Install Now button. Now it's installed, I'm going to hit the Activate. OK, if we go down to Divi, Theme Options, as you can see, it's added a little icon to our thing here. We'll go to Themes Options. And we'll go to Updates and Activate the Theme. I need to put in my username and my API key there. And you can get that from your Elegant Themes account. So I've got mine in there now. I'm just going to save the changes. And we got a check mark, which means the theme's updated, activated, and we'll get all updates. Now, while we're in here, if we look at the theme right now, I'm going to open it in a new tab by middle mousing. It's just a generic theme. We've got no logo or anything in there. Let's go ahead and put our logo in and a favicon. Now, the favicon is the little icon that appears up in the tab here. This site got it right there. So while we're still in Divi and theme options, we can go to general. And here's where we put the logo in right at the top here. I'm going to say upload. And you just drag your logo in and drop it when you're ready. When you're happy, hit the set as logo button. And it's done. Now while we're in here, I'm going to go down as we're using a one page scrolling site. I'm going to enable the back to top button, which is a great thing. It's right here, back to top button. I'm just going to switch that to on. And you'll see when we go in the site, like I can demonstrate in this one, if we scroll down a ways, You'll see a little button up here that'll scroll them straight back to this top and that's a great little feature okay the other thing that we want to add now that we've got our logo in there i guess we better have have a look at the logo we'll go back to the top we'll save the changes got our little check mark let's refresh this page and have a look at the logo make sure it's in there okay fantastic now we can make it bigger or smaller however we want so let's go and add our little favicon right here. To do that, we need to go to Appearance, Customize. And here we are. If we go into the general settings, Site Identity, this is where we can add our favicon. And really wants to be 512 by 512 pics. You can put it a little smaller or a little bigger, but I should do the recommended. And that's what I've got. So I'm going to hit the select site icon. And again, I'm just going to drag it in here. I'm going to hit select. And you can crop it if you want to, if it's not displaying correctly for you. Mine's displaying fine for what I need it for. So it's going to change it up there once we save this. So I'm going to skip cropping because I don't need to crop it. And there we are. We've got our favicon in there. And while we're in here, let's go back. We can take care of all kind of things up here. Layout, settings, typography, background. I'm going to go back again. I'm going to go to header and navigation. Now this is the primary menu bar right here. So if I go in there, I can set the height. You can type it in or use the slider, whatever works for you. Make the logo the height that you want it. I'll make mine that as well. 
text size absolutely fine letter spacing that's absolutely fine Divi comes with a huge amount of fonts it really has got a, a fantastic amount of fonts and you can change the font styles here if you want to change that for expediency I'm going to leave mine on the default because they seem to work quite well for me obviously you've got your bold italic uppercase and underline if you want to do that here's the text color here's the active link color we'll leave that as it is for the moment might want to change that at a later date that's the active link that it's actually on up there background color is fine drop down menu line we're not using a drop down for this but if you were this is where you change it here so I'm pretty happy with all of that but if we go back and I scroll down a little bit there's nothing to scroll with there's fixed navigation settings now I haven't got anything to scroll with because my page isn't deep enough but if we scroll you'd see that shrink up and if you didn't want it to shrink you just set this fixed menu height to the same height as your main menu and it would stay consistent all the time okay if we go back again while we're building this site we want to create a page and use it for our home page and down here in the home page settings we can set the page that we want to use by default it's set to your latest posts you want to use a static page so let's create a new page I hit the new page I'm going to call it home call it whatever you want as long as you remember what it is it doesn't have to be called home and we're going to use the Divi Builder. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. And I'll just go ahead and put a single row in here. And I'll put a call to action module in there. We'll save it just as a place to start. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to save our page changes. Always when you've done edits, you want to hit the little purple button down the bottom here. Save draft or publish. Over to the left hand side here, you've got responsive views. Now we're looking at it on desktop. If you want to look at it, how it's going to look on a tablet, hit that one. On a mobile, hit that one. Occasionally when things get pretty complex behind the scenes here, you want to view it in wireframe mode. And that will give you the back end version. And sometimes it's easier to move things around when you've got complex things going on. Now at the moment we don't have any sections. They've got a nice little feature over here that will show you the sections and you can go in them and see what's in the sections and move them around this way as well and that saves a lot of time too. So let's publish this page so we can use it and exit the visual builder. Now we can go back to our customizer. We'll have to refresh this page because we created the new page since we were in here. So I'll publish any changes that we made there and refresh the page. Now we can go down and set the home page settings. Static page. We can select home, which is the new page we created. And we're all ready to start our new site here. So that's how to get up and running with the Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.